We are going to talk about the connection between your today and your tomorrow you are expecting. Because your tomorrow is connected to your today, your present today. Your tomorrow is connected to your today. Help me to touch subscribe button or follow button depending on the platform you are watching me right now so that you can be receiving all my updates. God bless you. Majority of us did not understand that our tomorrow is hopeless and helpless without our today. But I'm going to tell you today how your tomorrow is connected to your today. Because your tomorrow will end up being a mirage or a dream of the night without you getting it right, right now. Many people, their tomorrow has ended up becoming a mirage to them. They confessed yesterday, oh, my tomorrow is blessed, my tomorrow is blessed. And when their tomorrow comes, they don't know when their tomorrow comes and they completely miss their tomorrow. Don't forget that your today was once your tomorrow you were confessing yesterday. Hear me? Your today was your yesterday tomorrow you were confessing. And even your tomorrow will become like today after some hours now and that is what you are confessing that your tomorrow will be blessed. That your tomorrow you will not suffer. What you are doing right now is the foundation of your tomorrow. Your tomorrow is the harvest of today's seed you are sowing. Your tomorrow is just the harvest of whatever you can plant today. Today is your seed. Tomorrow is your expected harvest. So when I see a lot of people in different ministries, in different churches, in different congregations, different places claiming, oh, you are beginning to confess, my tomorrow is blessed. I will not suffer. I will not suffer. I will not beg. I will not borrow. My tomorrow is blessed. According to the word of God, it's true. But according to what you are doing now, it may not be true for you. Because your tomorrow is connected to your today. Show me what you are doing right now. I don't need fasting and prayer. I will tell you how your tomorrow will look like. If I can see what a man is doing now, show me that sister that is after buying bags, buying, um, buying clothes, with changing with one, without having service, without planning up for her tomorrow. I will show you a sister that will end up frustrated tomorrow. A sister that will be tired of makeup tomorrow because life will make her to be tired of makeup. Show me a brother, a brother that is after nightclub right now, a brother that is after, a, a, you know, a brother that is after nightclub, a brother that goes from one place to another, a brother that has no time to think. I will show you a brother that will suffer tomorrow. Your today is connected to your tomorrow. So when you are confessing, pay attention to what you are doing right now. What are you doing now? Sister? Brother? What are you doing now? Because you are sowing a seed right now. The seed you are sowing now, when tomorrow comes, being the day of harvest, what kind of harvest are you going to have? Because God is not the one to make your tomorrow better. You are the one to make it. Satan is not the one to make your tomorrow worse. You are the one to make it. You are the one to determine how your tomorrow will be like. Especially these days we are living. Anytime people go to a particular ministry or a particular prophet or go to see a pastor, they will normally find enemy responsible for his or her poverty. They will never fight them themselves as an enemy. But I have checked over and over that you can be the worst enemy of your destiny. Because you are wasting your today. You are ending up wasting your today. Spending your days in nightclubbing. Spending the little money you have to plan your tomorrow. You're just confessing and just claiming tomorrow that you may never see. Look at in the Bible. There was a man called 
Aesop and Jacob. The Bible said when they were in the womb that two of them were great nations. But what happened? The Lord said that the elder one will be a servant to the younger one because God has already seen the way two of them will live their life on earth. You know that God sees the ending before the beginning. So God has already seen the lifestyle of Esau. But Jacob can be able to, to, to endure things right now in order to grab tomorrow. And one day, Jacob had porridge and Esau came back and said, I am dying. If I do not eat now, I am fainting. I will die. And Jacob also was hungry. Jacob, a man that loved tomorrow, decided to sacrifice his present today in order to grab his tomorrow. And he said to Esau, tell me that from today I'm your elder brother. Esau may say, uh, what am I using that position to do? You are my elder brother, I'm your younger brother. After all, everybody knows I am your elder brother. He may be saying it in his mind, but he don't know that from that day, he missed the position of being elder brother of that family. On the day of blessing, Isaac, their father, wanted to bless the elder brother. God himself refused Esau to receive that blessing of elder brother because he has already denied in the presence of God. So he has to come upon the elder brother before God. Esau lost his destiny. And the Bible said that Esau cried and wept and find it with tears without getting it back again. Dear listener, are you doing like Jacob or you are doing like Esau? Before we begin to look for enemy that tied our destiny, we begin to look for one tree that tied us, begin to look for one river they put your destiny. That is why I'm seeing many nonsense in the church this day, seeing a lot of nonsense in different ministries today. Because they keep on deceiving people, keep on deceiving every one of them. Lazy congregation, lazy people, you are telling them that the enemy tied them. Lazy congregation, people that are chasing women, people that are wasting the little they have, you are telling them that their uncle tied them, that their, their enemy say it shall not be well with them, their enemy say it shall not be well with them, that nothing they do on earth that will prosper. And the majority of people now say it's true. But I want to tell you the truth. What you are doing now, is a seed of your tomorrow. Check what you are doing now. How your tomorrow will be determines what you are doing now. Dear listener, what you are doing now, if God decided to give you a harvest in return based on what you are doing now, how will your tomorrow will look like? Because my tomorrow is blessed, my tomorrow is blessed. Your tomorrow is just the harvest of the seed of your today your tomorrow is just the harvest of your today's seed your tomorrow is just the harvest of your today's seed so anybody that confess my tomorrow is blessed is not by mouth is by what you are doing pay attention to what you are doing pay attention and i tell you satan has no power to hinder you satan has no power to stop you from making progress satan cannot stop you because you are making proof. No, the devil cannot stop you. A man that did not stop himself, Satan cannot stop him. I pray for you that as you choose to be diligent, the Lord will help you. And make sure that you are not ashamed of what you are doing. That is another thing I want to tell you. Don't be ashamed of your handwork. Don't be ashamed of what you are doing for a living. A lot of people that are ashamed. Many people that are ashamed of what they are doing. And the Bible said, Apostle Paul is saying in the Bible, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because he was a gospel preacher. He went to a place, from one place to another, from church to church, from bus stop to bus stop, market to back gate, preaching gospel. He wasn't ashamed. He said, I can never be ashamed of being a preacher. And even me, I am a preacher of gospel. I am not ashamed. I go from street to street, from shop to shop, from market to market, from bus stop to bus stop, from church to church preaching the gospel of Christ Jesus as, I, as you are seeing me now preaching it to you. I'm not ashamed. Don't be ashamed of what you are doing. You may be earning little now but the Lord will increase you. You may be, you may be doing a business, maybe it does being business. You are carrying those being for people. Don't worry. God will help you. God will send destiny helpers to you. Your business, you just have little money. You are, your business is very small. People are mocking you. Don't worry. God will help you. 
don't be ashamed of what you are doing because if you are ashamed of what you are doing for living if you are ashamed of what you are doing for living that particular thing you are doing will become a shame of you and you will refuse to yield harvest for you that thing will refuse to yield harvest for you but as you choose to be consistent as you choose to be diligent god will help you i pray for you that blessing of god rests upon you in the name of jesus i prophesy upon you your hand shall handle gold i pray for you your hand shall handle silver in abundance your hand shall handle gold in abundance in the name of jesus see you next time don't forget i'm your brother apostle anthony see you next time